on YouTube welcome back to the Thomas gallery and today I have a little story to tell this actually happened this morning um, I was just on the bed just uh, sitting down and I got a notification from one of my subscribers and they were looking at one of my videos one of my art videos I think it was uh, the inktober number four inktober 2016 number four and I forgot this person's name I apologize but they wrote a compliment, you know, commenting on my, my video, writing a compliment, you know, saying they, they like my work. Even though they weren't a, a fan of actually ink work, they were he was a fan he or she was a fan of my work. So I replied, Thank you very much, you know, I I appreciate that. Any any love I can get, always welcome, always appreciate it, and I will gladly give the love back and all the support back. So he gave me a compliment. Well, the person gave me a compliment, and I replied back, thank you very much, and, you know, I appreciate it, and pretty much I appreciate it, and I wish you also success. And the person replied back, saying that, you know, they appreciate they appreciate the, the support, thank you very much, and, you know, simply simply put, you know, if they were to, if, if I look at their work and see, you know, just check out their work too, you know, check out my work and subscribe, I said, yeah, that's fine with me. So I went on the person's page, the person's channel, and I looked at their work and I really enjoyed I really liked their work. Their work was, it was actually one piece the person did was, I think it was a young person with uh, dreadlocks, and it was dope. The work, the work was hot. So, you know, I even commented on that, on that piece, and I subscribed. I was like, you know, I, I like what I saw. I'm, I was going to subscribe anyway. You know, one artist supporting another artist. I'm all for that. So, it is, you know, I've commented on the person's picture that I saw and I like. said, thank you very much. You know, I said it was dope. And they said, thank you. I said, you know, no problem. I wish you success. You're very good. I just subscribed to your channel and you, I wish you, I wish you nothing but success, you know. And he's like, you know, I said, no he said, well, the person said, thank you, you know, hope it's not too late. I was like, my mind, like, what do you mean too late? It's never too late, you know. I, like, like you, you, know, you, you'll get it. Prog I, I wrote that, I said, progress is a slow process, you know. You know, don't, don't doubt yourself. You know, don't doubt yourself. It, it's never too late. You know, don't doubt yourself. You know, you just keep just keep pushing, keep going forward. You you got it. The person had the talent. Without a doubt, they had the talent, so. You know, I said, you know, I was, I wish you success. No, don't doubt yourself. And person, then the person replied, you know, do I think it's too late? And in my mind, I, I wrote down, I wrote down what I thought. I read you thought. I, I wrote down, you know, as long as you're alive, it's not too late. You know, as long as long as you still have the need and the urge and the desire to create art, it's never too late. If you're alive and you still want to do it, keep going. It's never too late, and I and the more you do it, the, the more successful you'll be. And success is pretty much it's it's just subjective. You know, whatever that person deems as success, if that person reaches, if your person reaches it, they're successful. You know. And but when the person said that, it got me thinking. You know, this 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 doubt thing, this this doubt, this thing in the back of our mind that has prevented so many great people from coming up. You know, who knows how many great actors, great musicians, great writers, great painters, great you know, great athletes. We could have had if those people didn't doubt themselves. And, you know, to some people, it may, I, I may come off as confident as, you know, having the answer, but trust you, trust you, man. I deal with doubt too, every day, all the time. I dealt with it today, actually. Um, I dealt with a couple of times. They, one time I was, I was actually, uh, every day I try to do at least like walk around the block one time just for exercise. And yesterday, yesterday I decided to jog. You know, I decided to jog yesterday. And I, I completed it. 
But today, I went out for my walk and I wanted to do my jog again. But as I was thinking about doing it, that little that little doubt thing kept creeping in. You know, like should I should I actually do it? Ain't nobody gonna know. Ain't nobody out. Ain't nobody outside at the time. Ain't nobody gonna know if I just walked the rest of this way. But I felt like I would know. So that when that, that doubt kicked in, I had to fight back to, to not, let that doubt, take over, and, that's how I feel about a lot of things. You know, when, when I'm when I'm drawing, when I'm drawing something and. There may be a part of the body or it may be a pose that I'm not too sure of. There may be a certain posture that I'm not too sure of that I'm just, I, I don't know. I may try to hide it in a way where no one, where the people who aren't really, you know, adapted to that would just overlook it and not really think about it. But, excuse me. Pardon me. No. But that comfort zone. You know, that doubt is a. There, there have been plenty of times where I let I've let my doubt actually take over, and when it did, I regretted it. You know, I, I regretted it. You know, those moments I've I've learned what I've noticed that every time I wanted to do something, and that doubt would creep in, and I let and I let that doubt win. No, I say I let the doubt win. When I let that doubt win, I ended up regretting it. But the few times that that doubt crept in and I didn't listen to it and actually pushed forward and, and pursued what I wanted to do, what I was passionate in, I found myself being more satisfied. You know, I found myself being more satisfied when that doubt crept in, but I didn't listen. It's only when the doubt crept in and I, and I listened to that doubt, I gave into the doubt that I end up regretting I end up regretting the decisions of, of what I made, the decisions I made. There were times where I said I wanted to do a drawing of a certain character and but the idea I had in my head would have the character in a certain posture. A posture that I wasn't too comfortable with. I wasn't comfortable with the posture. And I and I would just just kind of go in my mind, should I do it? Should I do the character? Should I do the character? Another pose. I, and just that back and forth, that back and forth fight, you know, it, it crept in my head. And there are times where I didn't go along with it. And once once I just listened to the doubt, the idea was no longer there. I forgot about the idea and I couldn't get it back. So that doubt, is that doubt has killed more dreams than anything else like that that doubt you have like that and, and I mean doubt comes out of insecurities and fears I mean we fear what we don't what we don't understand you know or, or think or we fear things that we can't see that we can't control you know if you knew the outcome of something and you can control the outcome of something, nine times out of ten, you wouldn't be afraid of it. You wouldn't doubt it because you already knew what the outcome was going to be. It's when you don't know the outcome of something that you start to fear. That that doubt first doubt kicks in, then fear. You know, you start to you start to doubt. Should you go along with it, even though you don't know what's going to happen? And but you don't know what's going to happen. Yet you still feel like you should go through with it. You know, should you should you listen to that doubt? And once that happens, you start finding more and more reasons. The more the more you doubt, the more you start finding more reasons to substantiate your doubt. You start you'll even fabricate reasons as to why you should not do something that could be beneficial for you. You know. You can say, well, you know, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to show my drawings. And then you may come up with a reason why, as to why you don't, you won't. I've done it before. I've done it plenty of times. You know, how come you don't show your drawings? I don't know. I don't know. You know, and it took a while for me to understand that. For me, for me personally, I was really afraid of. I wasn't really afraid of the ridicule. Ridicule. I was more afraid of. 
the responsibility of being successful. I know it sounds weird, but when people see that you have a talent, and when you know you have a talent that's unique to you and no one else has that talent, to, at least to your level, they look to, they, they, you, you, you get accolades, you get praise. But what comes, what comes with that praise is responsibility, you know, wanting to live up to the praise, wanting to continue to produce and to get better. And if, and if somebody actually says to you, you know what, you are so good, I want to pay you for your talents. You know, that is it's something that you always want. You always talk about, you know, want to get paid for your artwork, getting paid for your music. But when someone actually sees how good you are and want to actually compensate you, Sometimes that doubt creeps in. I know it has for me. That doubt creeps in. And you start thinking of ways to get out of it. You start trying to figure out ways to get out of the responsibility of achieving. That's, that's the way it put The responsibility of, achieve, of achieving. Because just like failure has responsibility, accomplishments also have responsibilities. And the more you accomplish, the bigger the responsibility. And a lot of people put doubt in themselves because they don't want that responsibility of achieving, of what comes with it. Because once you achieve, you can't go backwards. Once you have achieved a new level of skill or success, you don't want to go backwards. When, when, when you're doing paintings for free or doing artwork for free for so long and you finally get that one commission artwork you get that one piece that people that someone pays you for you're not trying to go back you don't want to go back to going doing stuff for free anymore you want to get paid and then the more you do you feel like you want to get paid more but what comes with that is responsibility once you have reached a new level of success or accomplishment the responsibility also grows the and 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 it's equal the, the amount of success is in direct proportion to the responsibility. So the more you accomplish, the greater the responsibility. Okay? And, you know, sometimes it's scary. Sometimes that responsibility is scary. And it, it can get so scary that you can even say, you know what, I don't want it. And you, you, will, you will come up with a reason as to why it failed as opposed to why you want to succeed further. If it fails, you will blame it on something else. You will blame it on, oh, well, I didn't have time. And Well, everybody has 20. Everyone on the planet has the same 24 hours. I got the same 24 hours as a CEO of a company. I have the same 24 hours as a Hollywood movie star. I have the same 24 hours as a world-renowned painter. You know, we all share the same, we all share the same earth, we all share the same sun, we all share the same 24 hours. So, that doubt, the great people, the people who we consider great, the people who we look up to, who we call stars and celebrities and we read in the history books, the people of history, the people who have a lasting legacy, they're no different from me or you or anyone else. We all deal with doubt. The question is, when that doubt comes, how do you act or how do you react? You know, do you attack it or do you sit back? Now, to be honest with you again, there are times where when I know that doubt is kicking in, I have to force myself to attack it. Otherwise, it won't get done. Otherwise, I will find a reason to why it didn't work. So when that moment, when I start feeling that, that kind of apprehensive, that tension, I have to attack it. For instance, starting YouTube. 
one, I don't have much practice of talking in front of a camera. I don't. I don't have much practice with that. But I knew that if I wanted my artwork to spread out, if I wanted my artwork to be seen, I would and I would have to eventually communicate with people who I don't know, whether it be in person or whether it be over the internet or over the World Wide Web. I would have to eventually get out of that comfort zone and confront the fear or confront the doubt of getting in front of a camera and speaking. And to be honest with you, there's still times where I get nervous like this video right here. I'm talking about doubt, but before I made this video, I had to actually get in my mind the courage to make this video because I had doubts about making this video. So, you no, know, it, it, it doubt never stops. You, uh, whenever you're doing something new, doubt will creep in. It always creeps in. The question is, how are you going to let that doubt affect you? You know. And to be honest with you, what, what, since I've done, since I've created a YouTube channel and been on social media with Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and all that, I've come to find out that I've actually opened up more. You know, people who know me well know that I'm very, very active, very energetic. But to something new, I'm very reserved. Very, very... I won't say introvert, but yeah, you know, I got a little bit of that in there. But the more I do these posts and the more I do these videos and this Snapchat and all that, the more I do it, I can I can feel myself getting more and more comfortable. So that doubt that I was speaking about it hasn't fully, it hasn't fully gone away. My, my doubts haven't fully gone away and they will never go away they will never go away however I, ha I have found a way to face that insecurity to face that doubt I, I have found a way and I feel as though as long as I am alive I have the willingness and the determination to push forward through that doubt into relief and before you know it you start getting more and more comfortable so to the to the artist that I was speaking to earlier or type well type in to earlier if you read if you see this just know that doubt is natural there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with doubt the moment see that that's a that's a no you're actually reaching the threshold when you're reaching a breaking point when you start doubting yourself that means you're at a point where you're on the frontier. You're on a new horizon. You're about to go into a place that you've never been before. Don't ignore that. Go forward. Doubt is natural. I'm speaking directly to the person who sent me the text. Doubt is natural. There's nothing wrong with doubt. But don't allow the doubt to keep you from fulfilling your passion. Because if you do, I promise you, you will regret... you. You will regret that more than you just being nervous, apprehensive. That 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 thought in your head of, man, if only if only I had did such and such. When that question starts popping in your head, it's far worse. It's 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 far worse. You don't want that in your head. You don't want to. You don't want to be. You want. You don't want to be. In your 60s, 70s, 80s, or whenever, thinking to yourself, if only I had done this. Trust me, I felt that before. There have been times where I've been given opportunities and I talked myself out of it through doubt and come to find out that it was a good opportunity for me, and I just sit back and say, damn. If only I had did, if only I had went forward instead of doubting myself. That doubt, you know, doubt shows you that you're on the, you're on the cusp of something new. 
but don't 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 feed into the doubt. Don't feed into the doubt. Push forward. Push forward. And if you need help, it's always good to have a support system. It's always good to have people with you that support you, that back you. There's a there's an old African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Okay? So whenever you whenever you're doubt in doubt about something, it's always good to have that support system. It's always good to have people around you that see your potential and want to see your potential manifest. Keep those people around you. So whenever you whenever you're feeling down, you'll always have a helping word to come around and say, you know what, it's okay. Don't get down to yourself. Keep pushing. Okay? Keep fighting. You got it. You're almost there. I believe in you. Just like I said, I wish you success. I don't know you. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't have to know somebody to ask them to be. To tell them, to be, you know what? I wish you success. I don't. I don't want to see nobody fail in anything. You know, positive. I mean, we we got enough negative stuff going on in this world as it is. You don't need one more person talking about it. You know. Especially when you see we see another artist. I mean, I'm I'm I don't have no big studio or anything. I'm just starting off with just. YouTube and other social media sites just put my work out there. But what I do know is when you have when you have a helping word behind you, we have an encouraging word behind you, it can take you far. It can it can take you a long way. So like I said, like old African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Okay? That's just some good words for y'all. Peace.